or I guess they're playing Orn top lane in season 14. This time we're playing Orn versus a Trundle. The broken Trundle. <laughs> what we have is Grasp, Demolish, a Bone Plating, Overgrowth, a Magical, and Biscuits. Now this game, I want to showcase you guys the best tank to play in season 14 right now. You have like plenty of options. Like you have uh, Malphite, Mundo. There's Orn, there's plenty of other tanks. Orn is definitely the best tank you can play right now, by far. Running into one of the most broken champs in the entire game as well. Like, Chondo is currently highest ban rate, highest win rate, highest everything. That champ is crazy OP. I'm expecting a bad time though. I know this matchup very well. Basically, you have to respect him. We have HP scaling in the, in the stats. I assume this guy's probably like full offense with the adaptive and the attack speed. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Anyway, full HP scaling. And also playing Orn. It's gonna do a great job. Seems like he's going for the shove. He's not looking for the fights though. Definitely thinking towards the direction of going Sunfire with a Frozen Heart in this game. Like Frozen Heart's gonna fully counter Trundle when the day comes. Ah, it's gonna go back. Okay. Interesting. He doesn't go for a fight level 1 straight away. He just pushes down the wave and then goes to the reset. Interesting. Oh, that's a Graves in my uh, in my jungle. I hope I don't get to lose the farm. I want my teammates to be aware that I can move away right now. Because if I lose this farm, my lane's going to be miserable. Okay. Yeah, I lost a lot of farm. At least I got the XP. So now comes the most fun part. So now the wave starts stacking, right? And now we got to figure out a way to fight over this strondle. I'll start building towards this immediately. All right, we got Ramus Topsa too. This is the point where Trondle has a chance to all end me. So things get scary here. One way we can win this is by like Wing him and then knocking him back and then slowing him with the next Q. Like that's one way how we can like stay away from the early all ends. Nice. He's like low HP. Don't bait yourself by this. Like Chondo plays one shoot to all in like that. No jungler needed. It was a nice, nice gank though. Okay. Let's go back here. Actually. I'm going to ping him back. Like, I need to ping him back. And that I only have, like, one solid reason for that. And that is because I need to be able to buy my items. And then come back later. Like, if, if I were to... So, let's say, right? Chondo is now farming this. If I were to chase down Grace right now. Then I would still have to reset. I would still have to get my mana back. I would still have to, you know, fully walk back to my lane. Which means that if this guy is gonna, you know, do this, what he's doing now, I might even lose farm. It might even get under my tower. Either way, it's it actually results in something very bad for my lane. So it's better if I ping my jungler back and just not go for the fight and just walk back to my lane being full mana. Actually catching on the farm. It's better for my lane and keeps me uh, from losing it. I don't want to lose the lead that I just got right now. Again, I can't... Nah, I can't freeze the wave. Chondol's too strong. You shouldn't underestimate him. That was that one. Okay. No problem. So again, the wave is now in a good position where I can actually fight him. So now it's a good time to figure out a way to... Get him low. We've got the level 6. He's level 5 right now. Oh. Yeah, seems like this is where Chondo figures out how strong he is. Yep, that's what I was scared of. I couldn't auto. Chondo was that strong, guys. You, you, you can't, like... Expect to win that easily against them. I don't think I hit him. No, I don't hit him. 
Okay, I must I must force this wave right now. Don't have much of an option. There you go. There's a good chance that uh, he's gonna look for an all-in here. I should be able to beat him. Nice one. Well played. And that win. There you go. See? So, this matchup is all about kiting properly. It's all about playing around your W the entire time. And that's really it. Now, we quickly got to force this in. There's a fight in the river. Let's see how that goes. They're actually doing pretty well. So, it's pretty much all about kiting properly, guys. That's all it is. I know in the, in the back of my mind that if Trundle can, you know, stick to me and stay very close and always get inside auto range, I know I'm going to end up losing. I know that Trundle's all in is better because this is how the champion works. We are better in terms of short trades where if Trundle's going to all in me, then I can hit my W, I can fully hit the damage, hit the auto attack, then knock him back, and then as he uh, follows through, I can then hit my Q, hit the damage, and then walk off. That's how I have to trade him constantly until I fully scale in the game, right? So, like, the difference is that Trundle, his early game is fantastic, where my early game is really strong too. It's just really matchup dependent. But my scaling is far better than Trundle. Like, far better. My late game is far better by a mile. Like, you'll see soon. I'm gonna move now. Seems like Chondo is paying attention to it, so... That's what I'm talking about. Chondo knows about it. Yep, told ya. This Chondo knows. See? So the second that I all in too much, he's gonna hit R and then kill me. That's exactly how the matchup goes. So this guy knows it very well. Oh, okay. I'm probably dead. Nice. He didn't go for me. Scary matchup, guys. Very scary matchup. Especially because I have full HP scaling. Where he's probably got, like, attack speed, damage, everything other than HP scaling. My HP scaling is going to start paying off right now. Being this far in the game. I might have to get a proper reset soon, because I'm really low HP and Chondo's looking for all-ins. Okay, yeah, Chondo's looking for all-ins. I'm gonna have to reset. I'll get my HP. Oh, I see it, the knock-up. We have a brand on the way. It's a very scary all-in for me if I, if I go for Chondo. I think it's probably warded, so... I just want to ask... Uh, Brent to, like, shove the wave in. Because the position that I'm in at the moment is not good for me. But if I can save my teleport, I can make a play around the map, and this gank will actually pay off. So we're not killing him, but at least I can use my TP now for another, in another situation. So it's not that bad for me. It actually does pay off in my lane. Let's get back. Oh, he's going to shove the lane out. I hope I can make it back in time. If I can make it, I can make it gank worthy for Ramos. But I think he's too fast. Yes, he's too. He's far too fast. I've actually lost so much farm this game due to the matchup. Such a such an awful matchup. Trundle is too strong at the moment. Again, like, Orn is also incredibly strong. The fact that we can kill him, like, several times is amazing. There you go. I was actually going to teleport. <laughs> I was ready, man. I was gonna, like, pop in the button any second. 
I think I can probably get a catch on him. Oh. He's nearly got blade. I can't use my W there. As much as I'd like. Hmm. Okay. Great. See? So I paid attention to where Ramus is. And there was also pinks. So all I did was I make sure that I bait Trundle into the longest fight ever. He fell for it. And we kill him. Amazing. And we get plates as well. And we take all these ones. Again, it's Trundle. Don't remember don't forget that this champ is super broken at the moment. I think I might even go Thormil just to counter Trundle because of the Bramble's Vest actually reducing the healing. I wish I could teleport, but I'm not gonna do that because it's 12 and 45. If I if I TP to Balin right now, then Trundle is going to make the biggest comeback ever because he can actually get plates if I'm gone, right? Okay. So if if um, if it's not 14 minutes, it's not worth teleporting in this case. Um, even if um, my teammates are gonna die because plates give way too much gold. It would impact Shondal so much, it would make him broken. <laughs> if he gets all my plates, he's gonna come back full build. We can't give that to him. We can only TP in the moment where he's not gonna... Oh, nice. Goodbye. I respect you, no problem. Goodbye. You're getting kited. Again, I'm just kiting him down slowly. I don't fall for you. Goodbye. I don't fall for your trap. I know exactly how that works. You're baiting me, so I go in and then you kill me. I know exactly how that works, man. Not happening today. Got tower, nice. We push. You each owe me a bear. I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. Worst TP in the world. It happens, man. Mistakes are made. Seems like we're still getting something. Yeah, I guess I have to run. I need to run up to Brand. Nice, good one. Okay, we've got my Thormill too. Nice. In fact, yes, we already we already can, because I can just sell my D-Shield. Now we have Thormil. Um, the next item that I can buy to fully counter Trundle completely is actually by going into a Frozen Hard. Because then it provides all these stats, and then on top of that it provides me the, the attack speed reduce. Oh, you're not going to kill me. He's going to have a bad time doing it. Oh, I actually underestimate him. Whoops. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. The first time in 16 minutes that I underestimate Shondal. See what happens? I underestimate him one time. Thinking like, oh, well, I got Thormel. Well, no. The second that I go in and I lose my abilities, he's going to kill me. That's exactly how Chondo works. That's the joke about Chondo. You should never underestimate this guy. <laughs> this is exactly what I meant. Like, 
You should never fall for Chondo. Ever. That champion is stupid right now. <laughs> Always use your brain, guys. I don't use my brain for once. Thinking too easy of Trundle. I almost die. Okay, let's uh, shove next wave. So the answer to Trundle is just to kite him down. Meaning we're just going to stay up here. I'm not going to get inside auto range that fast. <coughs> See? Now I kite backwards, but I'm staying outside auto range. And it's working. Unfortunately, I couldn't press my second R. It got cancelled by him. Well played, actually. Really well played. <clears throat> that would be funny if he gets him. <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, he still has R2. Nice champion. <laughs> he had the R. I thought he used R before. What made me think that he used R before? <laughs> Sunfire, Thormill, Steel Caps, and now even Warden's Mail with armor. I'm pretty sure that his blade and his ultimate still beats me. <laughs> All right, no problem. You're in my kingdom now. We're not losing the wave. That's something that will unfortunately probably never change. Maybe towards the late game, if I have even more armor, I can maybe counter Trundle. Um, maybe I should be able to. The blade is the biggest power spike. Trinity Force, maybe two. We're reaching a point now where my teammates become broken. Because I can use... I can pretty much use Orn. My champ to like upgrade their items. The work is the reward. Besides, we uh, have TP ready too. I do think the TP from this guy is also ready. Wait a second. Hmm. I guess we don't ca get to catch the Trumble that easily. Great to like catch off that guy. I need to upgrade items for my teammates. I'm able to do that right now. Hmm. Great. Yeah, I think I already got him. Okay, that guy's dead. I'm glad that Rambus came around. Just to get the kill. I need to back now. I need to buy items for my teammates, so I need to get in range. Okay, Frozen Heart. So, now I'm curious. Can I 1v1 Trondle at this stage, being two levels ahead with a Sunfire, Thormill, Steel Caps, and also a Frozen Heart? I am very curious if I can make that happen. I should be able to, technically, but, you know, you never know. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we can catch him for for sure. Just need to go on the chase for a while. Yeah, we got him. I feel like we should be. Uh, I need to upgrade items real quick for my teammates. Hold on. <laughs> I have such a hard time upgrading items for my team, bro. They're in combat constantly. I'll get my chances. Definitely not gonna happen. He's gonna get away. Great. Amazing. We finally... My teammates allow me to upgrade items. Let's go, man. We got one. We need to get another one. Finally, my teammates recognize that I can upgrade items. They're constantly in combat, so I can't upgrade anything. There you go. I, I take my chances. Nice. Finally, I get to upgrade. <laughs> the struggle to upgrade items it is real. Ah, uh, that one was definitely enough to kill me. Okay. Um, the next item I'm gonna go for, we could technically counter Trundle by going into Randowins. Because they have like 4, well, 3 AD. I can also go into... Um, what we can also do is go into Force of Nature. Which provides movement speed for kiting against Trundle. Then also provides HP and then MR for the rest of their team. Yeah, I guess I probably can. It's it's a nice item. Yes, I, I will do it. I need 20 seconds for teleport, man. That's messed up. You guys are requesting Jack Shove, which is also a perfect item. Sure. That one is also super solid. I'll take that one. Sounds even better because it also provides the armor, of course. That's a good one. That's a good request. I need level 16 soon. I missed my R. Fantastic. This should be a Baron soon. Yes, we can move. Uh, we can move Baron. No problem. Of course, there's also a risk. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wow. Even the jungler is, gets down. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's amazing. <coughs> We're getting kited down. It's not very good. Okay, let's keep going. Very well. I purposely did that because I didn't want them to have a chance at maybe stealing it. I know that the chances was very small because my jungler obviously has a smite and their jungler is obviously dead. Um, or I do think if I focus them down, they will stop even trying to go for the Baron and will give us a, an even bigger chance at getting it. So again, I, I sort of like ran it down. I was hoping that maybe something could happen. Maybe some guy could like flash across too. But I didn't check on this. But this was just to ensure, sure that this goes well. 
I'm level 16 right now, so I can make someone happy in my team again. Good job, everyone. I need to upgrade from someone. Oh, I can upgrade from Lucian. There you go. Okay, uh, Lucian has upgrade. This guy has upgrade. This guy has an upgrade. And now the only upgrade that is left to do is Ramus. Ramus himself. So I just need to get level 17 for the upgrade. We can actually start forcing lanes now. We got TP2, so we can be on the side lanes if you want to. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go to the side lanes. It's better. Well... I'll TP from here. Okay, my ultimate was useless. A lot of useless ultimates this game. Nice. Very well then. Oh, my W actually failed on me here. Well, run for my life. I can uh, I can buy the Jack Show in like uh, seventy, and Jack Show is gonna allow me to tank up the rest of their comp as well. I just got in gold from them because they killed them. <laughs> Interesting. Dragon spawns in fifty. Okay, there is one more item that I would need, and that is really situational. I was thinking maybe going war mocks, but it's not like an optimal one. There you go. Chundle's top lane. This is a bit of a unfortunate problem. I'm slightly worried we're going to draw ourselves into a bad situation because I think Chundle's going to teleport. Either way, I'm going to have to try and cancel the TP from Chundle if it happens. a beast unfortunately goodbye bro yeah I need more items against them <laughs> I need more <laughs> we're not there yet I have so much armor but it's just still not enough for Chundle and I don't think it will ever be to be honest Okay. I'm gonna wait to upgrade the item from Ramus. Because I need to upgrade his item still. I have to. We can go for this item. Which is good against... Uh, specifically, Trundle again. Well, I can't upgrade this item. He doesn't have an item that I can upgrade. That's funny. Um, there used to be, like, an example for people to, like, buy so I can upgrade their items. But, like, the, the funny thing is that, like, you don't have a direction for an item to upgrade right now. Because right now, for, exa for example, this guy has uh, Hollow Radiance, he's got Randoin, Stormel, but does not have an item that I can upgrade. As you can see, it just doesn't show. So they're not... They're not showcasing, like, what people need to buy for it. 
It's a bit weird in my opinion. There you go. Well, that's nice. Uh, Chondo's wrecking top lane, so who knows how long we can do this for. Oh, never mind. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to flash out of that one. Let me just type down to Ramus to buy something that I can upgrade. Okay. And let's go. We're basically maxed out. Yeah, so we just need Ramus to buy an item that I can upgrade. Like, Season 14 is not obvious with what needs to be bought on the, on the champion for me to upgrade. <laughs> it's very weird. You used to have, like, mythics that showcase exactly... Uh, what you could buy to for like for upgrades. Now you have to like look at the shop for whoever wants to get the upgrade. It's very weird. Hmm. We have a problem. Chondos in bot lane. Not very good. I'll have to cover this by myself. We should be strong enough to tank up Trundle right now. Like, no doubt about it, we should be. Oh, they're chasing down a Trundle. It's, nah, it's not worth it, man. Chasing down a Trundle isn't going to change anything. Maybe if Ramus buys a Jack Show, I can upgrade his item. Maybe. I think Jack Show would be the perfect item uh, for the upgrade for Ramus. That would fix the problem. catch anyone oh cool <laughs> I lasted with that stuff okay yeah my randomance my randomance is good not the most optimal. But it, was, it was good. But yeah, either way, this is Orn Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.